Hi, hello, my name's Errol. I'm a member of the schools team here at Aid to the Church in Need UK, or ACN for short. Welcome to day six of this year's Novena. Today, we will focus on Iraq. Let's make the sign of the cross together. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In 2014, life changed drastically for many Christians in Iraq. Many people were forced to leave their homes because they were told they were no longer welcome there. The extremist group Daesh, known also as ISIS, took control of the Nineveh Plains, an area of northern Iraq which has long been the home of Christians, Yazidi and other religious minorities. People there have faced many difficulties, but things there are changing. There is hope for the future of the Christians of Iraq. The Nineveh Plains have now been liberated and people have gradually begun to return. But many of the towns and villages taken by Daesh have suffered serious levels of destruction. Houses, schools and churches were burned and destroyed. The task of rebuilding is huge, but there are people who are willing to take it on for the chance to return to their homes. The visit of Pope Francis in March 2021 has also given hope to many. Reven Posser from the Karakosh Reconstruction Board said, we have heard about families from Karakosh who cried when they saw photos of the trip and are thinking about returning home. Now for a short reading from scripture. For surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you a future with hope. We pray that the Christian people of Iraq continue to have faith in you, Lord. And we pray for continued kindness and generosity from all those around the world who are helping Iraqi people rebuild their lives. Please com continue to bring hope to those who are living in desperate situations. Let's pray the Our Father together. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for praying with us. We'll see you tomorrow for day seven of the Novena. Bye for now.